Hey guys, I'm Jerry Mitchell, and I know what you're thinking. You got the big 50 out, and I got a block of clear ballistics, ballistic gelatin here. So, what else can you want? You want a 750 grain Hornady A Max. We're going to see if we can make this block of gelatin leave the bench and maybe never find it. So, let's see what that looks like. Hey guys, we're a little bit further than what we usually do this. I don't know uh, if that ballistics gelatin, I don't want it coming back at me as fast as I'm going at it. So, got the Amax round here. We're set up, got everything kind of parallel. We're gonna see what kind of penetration we get and see if our clear ballistics gelatin can, can take the pain here. So, all right guys, eyes and ears. Let me get these plugs in. One thing about a Barrett, when you put your plugs in, you wanna put them in all, all the way till they touch all right all right safety on chamber flag out round in everything lined up here we go on the line here we go yeah all right here we go oh <laughs> Whoa! Clear! Flag in! Woo! <laughs> Let's go take a look, see what we did. I know from under a shed like this, that compensator really uh, clear your sinuses out. We went right through the block, didn't seem to do a whole lot. Let's go take a look. Hey guys, 50 BMG keeps going in a straight line. 16 inch of gelatin and didn't even veer, didn't do anything but made a straight, straight B line to the rear. So, that calls for another block. We have to get another block and see if we can make that A Max start to tumble or open up or whatever. We just want to see how much test medium it takes to make that round start coming apart. I found a part of it in the berm over there. It skipped off the ground and broke up a little bit. So, we might be on the verge of making it wreck. We're going to have to add another 16 inches to it and uh, see what happens. Hey guys, we had one block, shot right through it, 16 inches of gelatin, really didn't do much. We added another block, maybe it might get that A-Max to get the tumbling, we want to see what happens here. So we got 32 inches of gelatin, we got the Hornady 750 A-Max, and I got my trusty earplugs, going to put them in as far as I possibly can. All right. All right, safety on. Magazine in. Chamber flag out. All right, guys. 32 inches of gelatin. Let's see what it'll do. Here we go. Here we go. Now, that was a little bit more lively. I like that. Let me go ahead and flag it up here, guys. We're clear. Woo. We're clear. There's something about shooting a Barrett under a shed like this that really sends the shock wave right up your nose. So let's go, <laughs> let's go take a look. Hey guys, we're gonna get the blocks up here on the bench. All right, that's our first block. And as you can see, my point of aim, point of entry was about not any more than about an inch more to the right of my first shot, which I, was, I tried to move it a little bit more than that, but maybe I got a little jumpy on the trigger. And you can see the second block laying over here. Yeah, this is the one, this is the one that actually things started to happen in. Actually, the bullet started to come apart, guys. You can see, right, it looks like about within about eight, 17 inches of uh, penetration through that gelatin that the bullet itself, this must have been the top. Let's see how we had it. Yeah, this is it like this, guys. So what happened, the bullet came in, actually started to fragment here just at about 18 inches, 19 inches. We got one big piece here, splintered off to the right, and another piece continued through, so 
We had a lot of energy transfer on that second block. You can see how it jumped off the table. So it looks like that Amax at this distance, which is almost point blank, will go about 18 inches in this gelatin. Then it'll start opening up and making like a big hollow point. So anyway, the 50 BMG Hornady Amax will make your ballistic gelatin jump. Hey guys, so what do you think? 50 BMG on, on some ballistic gelatin. You notice the first block when we shot it, the bullet was just starting to do something when it exited about 16 inches of gelatin. So when we put two blocks, then we, then we actually started to see something there. You notice the second block, block it started to, uh, the bullet started to actually disintegrate at about 18 inches, started to come apart. One piece went out, one piece went straight. So you had some energy transfer. The blocks just went crazy. But you might also notice they had a little bit of a light emitted and some smoke coming out of the, the entrance and the exits of the, of the blocks. And that was kind of something we saw when we shot the 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum. And that, my friends, is called so sonoluminescence. And that is caused by a cavitation inside of a liquid. Really what's happening there is that the bubbles that are, that are formed, the high-speed bubbles, when they implode, they emit energy and light. So, so there you have it, guys. It's the same thing that a pistol shrimp uses, the same technology to kill its prey. So, so what do you think, guys? Am I just full of knowledge or what? So there you have it, guys. I'd like for you to subscribe to MitchellEck.com, like us on Facebook, and keep posted, guys. We've got good stuff coming.